day. It's me. I'm sorry. I probably look a little bit tired. It's quarter after 11, but I just got home after my first uh, Christmas party through work. Um, and it was actually really fun. I don't know what the other teachers are talking about when they say that. I don't know. Maybe I got lucky. But four of my students went. My students are amazing. Um, and uh, so I started out actually at Ginza today. I worked at Ginza and I walked, or walked, yeah, I walked all the way to Tachikawa now. Um, and I went to the Tachikawa party. And um, I got there a bit early because it's kind of far. So I, you know, had a little bit of time to kill because um, I didn't want to cut it too close. And I wanted to take the uh, what limited express train, which cut like so much time off of the commute. Um, I saved myself a lot of time actually. So I had some free time and I went to the arcade to the uh, the Sega arcade again. And I won a big can of candy. Um, and it's like a paint can. So I haven't opened it yet, but it's full of chocolate. I may send this to someone for Christmas. I may just send the can actually, because the can is awesome. Um, and it does have Japanese on it. Ti and I keep saying that. So, which is the name? Tiro. Tiro. And then, Chokora. Choco. Choco. So, it says, like, basically the brand chocolate. So, it's kind of cool. And I won this on my second try. The first try it shifted, the second time it fell. Because I'm awesome. And it was really easy to win, actually. Um, and then, at the Christmas party, there was a gift exchange. Um, and the first gift I got actually was like this scarf that the guy's mom had made. Um, and it was actually pretty nice. I actually kind of liked it. And I wish I'd been able to keep it, but um, what ended up happening was one of my students, which is what I've got here, uh, had a gift who, that was really feminine and she ended up uh, getting, because what we did is we drew numbers out of like a bag and then we just had to find the matching number. And the person she had ended up getting paired up with for the gift exchange was a dude. And I was like, that's not going to work. So I traded gifts with him. So he got the scarf, which I'm a little sad about. And I think the student who originally gave it to me, he was so excited to get me. He was following me around like the big wide-eyed puppy. And it was kind of cute and kind of creepy. It was still kind of cute, I guess. Um, but anyway, I think he was a little hurt that I kind of gave his gift away, and I, I was admittedly a little bit sad because, um, you know, I was kind of excited to get a scarf that I didn't make myself, <laughs> but that's okay. So, um, the gift that I exchanged for, though, the other teachers are like, whoa, jackpot, because it's amazing. Um, it's got this Mickey little pillow, which is kind of nice, a little squashy pillow. So I have one of those now. It has two Mickey Mouse mugs in it. Yeah, two Mickey Mouse mugs. Um, Disney oh, mug yeah. cup. I love that. Disney mug cup. It's it's an American company and they, yeah. Um, and it also has like this baggie. So it's like a little, little silver purse. Um, and then it also had this, which is just like a little manicure set. Let's see if I can get the picture in there. Eh, it doesn't, not working too well, but, um, it's a little manicure set. It's got like scissors and file and it's a nice little set. Could be useful. It's got some things in there. I definitely don't have like something to push back my cuticles, which could probably use a little bit of help. Um, so yeah, my students are awesome put this stuff away. I now have two mugs. <laughs> um, by the way, did I mention this party had booze? <laughs> um, yeah, this party, sorry, this party had um, alcohol and I, I mean, that's not unusual, I suppose, for a Christmas party. And I didn't over drink because of course if I do and I do something stupid, my students are gonna remember and so are all the other students there and that's probably not good. But I did definitely got my money's worth out of it. Unfortunately, it costs almost 4,000 yen to go, which is, well, rough, very rough exchange, almost 40 bucks. 
Um, and so that was a little expensive considering I'm getting towards the end of my um, between paychecks time. So it's like I get paid on Friday. And so I was cutting it kind of close, I guess, but eh, that's okay. I definitely got all I could eat out of it. <laughs> um, I was like chowing on stuff. And then there was this random extra piece of cake that my students grabbed me a piece of cake and I went and got my own right when it came out. So I was like, great, I have a second piece of cake. And I was so full. And I, tequila sunrises, I'm not really sure how many. I think I had four tequila sunrises and then a Cassis orange and like a wine cooler or something. I don't know. So, but I got my money's worth out of it and it was fun. And my students are amazing. Let me reiterate this one more time. My students are amazing. Half my class showed up to the party, which is more than any other one class had. So I thought that was amazing. And that's the reason I went to the party, even though it was a really far commute for me to get to. I, I wanted to go because I knew my students were going. And they love parties so much. They want to have like a end of year party. Uh, which we're going to have on the 22nd, which is great because the 23rd is a national holiday as the Emperor's birthday. So that's kind of exciting. But um, I haven't even changed out of my work clothes yet. I still have like everything. I mean, I, yeah, I didn't even um, like take my earrings off or anything yet. So I'm going to do that and then go to bed because it, it, I should probably go to bed. I have to work tomorrow. But I'll see you guys later. Cheers.